Unpopular opinion, you shouldn't be allowed to film yourself at a public gym. I think it'll be something that'll happen at some point as folks filming making fun of folks also is pretty bullshit and prevalent enough. This has happened to me. I appeared unwittingly in the background of someone's selfie, and a lot of online strangers made a lot of nasty fun of how my appearance contrasted to hers. I know that will probably be an unrelatable experience to a lot of girls and women here, but I wouldn't wish it on anyone. My gym has had a spate recently of girls doing mirror selfies in the locker room. It is driving me nuts. I get it. You look cute in your workout dear, and I support it. But these mirrors reflect back into the main changing area. I have no idea if your snapchat is catching me topless and changing my bra in the background. Please. Do not. I literally waited 5 minutes and then left the gym without changing back into streets clothes today because I just didn't have the energy to argue with this girl. I just wish they would save the mirror selfies for their private bathrooms. My gym would throw you out for cameras in the locker room. Agree. It's so annoying they also get upset when you walk in front of their camera. The obsession with filming everything is frustrating. I don't want to be in a million random strangers videos. It's so bad. I see it everywhere I go, and it's so cringy. And I see young girls starting to do it. It annoys me so much that I've started taking pics of things I do less often, and posting them less often, because I so strongly want not to be like that. It's like people just do things now to post about them, and they think they will look cool posting pics of every place they go when to me it just seems desperate and attention seeking. I passionately hope that it becomes a tacky forks pars at some point and something anyone would be embarrassed to do. I have a 7 year old daughter and I do not want her to become one of these selfie obsessed narcissists. She is already asking me if she can have a YouTube channel like some of her classmates and sometimes makes videos where she talks like a YouTuber like and subscribe watch my other videos even though she's barely watched YouTube. It's seriously getting so old. I take photos at home to document my progress and would never do this at the gym. Very surprised they haven't implemented rules for this. Agreed. It's ridiculous. I cannot agree enough. I didn't renew my gym membership and started a home gym because I was so sick of the filming. I just want to know that my workout is gonna be private and I won't accidentally be in someone's video. I'm absolutely treasuring and feeling immensely grateful for my home setup while reading this thread. I have invested in the equipment BC I'm a hermit in general. I really would not be able to handle my s around people behaving in the ways folks are describing. Agree. I usually anonymously tell the front desk every so often when I see people intentionally filming others. I had a friend cancel her membership when she saw someone walk in with a tripod lol and if you must film then just f block people out in the background. I wouldn't even be anonymous about it. I would talk to someone at the front desk and go your friend's route. I do not consent to people filming me. Even if accidentally, I want out of my membership. Now. So annoying. Had people come in with tripods and photographers lately. Really don't wanna be on camera lol. Tell the front desk. Complain all the way to the top. Send emails to customer service. Email the higher ups and the website. Someone will listen especially to the words invasion of privacy. Non-consent and possibly filming nude people. Especially if minors are around. Is this an unpopular opinion? I didn't think it was allowed in most gyms. I literally never see it at mine. Thank god. Probably thinks it's unpopular bc it's popular to have a camera. Just my thought. I've lived in Korea for around 5 years and the culture here for taking pics and videos is on steroids. People are really into it. I'm not. Anyway I read a lot of blogs or watch YouTube when I'm searching for restaurants or board or whatever. And I think it's pretty standard to blur out people in the background. People are super diligent about it here. It's impossible to go basically anywhere and take pics with friends or a video and avoid people in the background bc it's so population dense here. I realize it's annoying, but it's my feeling that people are entitled to do it if they stay in their lane and they don't post others without consent, i.e. they should blur out random passerby or cover up. That's reasonable. 
I'm guessing most of the people here saying we are sick of it are in the US where that type of courtesy and taking a few moments to think of others doesn't exist. Absolutely. It's gross. The gym I used to go to had a no filming rule. They would legit kick you out. In Germany we have a thing called right to one's own picture, which means, unless you're a person of public interest, like a politician or some form of celeb, it's illegal to film you without your consent. It's mostly to preserve dignity, but it's generally a good practice emo. When I used to lift heavy, I would discreetly video myself to make sure for mon squats, deadlifts, snatches, jerks, etc weren't going awry. People recording themselves for other reasons can get a Logan Roy slash Roy Kent response out of me and enjoy my cankles in their editing sesh. I usually try to get my last set or two so I can check my form after. My gym doesn't have mirrors, so it's the only way I can see my form. I try to hit the gym at the least busy times of day, which is nice for not being a nuisance if I film a couple sets. But I also have the good fortune of using a lifter gym where the only folks filming are doing form checks too. I've lifted for a long time. But I still like to make sure I'm doing everything right. I think I'd be annoyed if it was a lot of TikTok or reels being filmed instead. That sounds like a nightmare. I can't stand chain gyms. Because when I used to go, it was filled with people like this. And it was f annoying. Yep. Stay out of chain gyms, because it where the problem usually exists. Tell the owner of the gym, if it is a local gym. You could even maybe break the contract, if you insisted you don't want to be on camera, if they keep letting people film and allow the cameras, to get in the way. Agree. The other day, I was walking out of the locker room and two girls were filming their asses in plain sight. I don't know what this world is coming to. Why do you care if adults are filming their own bodies? Nude or not, the world isn't falling apart because women are more comfortable with their bodies and sexuality. This is not an unpopular opinion at all. I don't think this is unpopular. I think this should be a rule everywhere. What if someone has fled DV, have a child that is a foster care child or something similar and some dopey cow is filming herself and posting it online and lets everyone know where that person is. Serious question couldn't one start singing Disney songs at the top of one's lungs, rendering said video useless, maybe if it were being used for commercial purposes, but odds are the filmer would have a reasonable claim for fair use, I think that's the term. This is part of the reason myself, and several others I know, don't go to the gym. I don't particularly enjoy them anyway, but they're useful when the weather is bad. However, there are cameras everywhere these days and that's really a f-putting. I do think there are legit reasons to film, like for instructional purposes. But gyms could do a much better job setting the space up to allow for that, and otherwise restrict camera usage. That pisses me off too. I don't want to be in video at the gym especially some randos. Another reason to never go to the gym and work out at home. Gym life sucks people. I understand if it makes more sense for you and or you simply don't have the space and like the machinery. But honestly if you could swing it, why not just work out at home? Get some cheap weights. Run. Yoga. Bike etc. Some people need a second location for motivation slash focus. If I say I'm going to work out at home it's too easy to get distracted with other things. I don't think this is unpopular with anyone, except the influencer set. I hate it. As a lifter, I often film myself to check form. I try to be respectful of the space and angles to minimize background people, but sometimes it can't be helped. I agree that people who are there taking videos of others as a primary focus without consent are just rude and that shouldn't happen. But genuine form slash instructional videos in a gym setting can be helpful. E. G. Instagram reels coaching people who are shy and self-conscious of going to the gym through the process and giving ideas of modifications etc. Just wanted to add a perspective for why some people film that isn't mean spirited. I do it to check my form backslash view 200d but I agree. Filming at the gym shouldn't take priority over others. Do that on a less busy day with fewer people, if you must do that. I agree. 
Also some people work with personal trainers remotely, so they send videos for form checks and progress updates. Totally agreed. I don't go to the gym, but I do swim at my local pool. Sometimes there are classes or kids areas at the same time as there are lanes roped off for adults to swim laps. And parents and other folk are there with their phones filming the people in the pool, and I find it's a violation of my privacy while I'm wearing a revealing bathing suit. It's bullshit that they're not banned. All the videos of people shaming others in the gym is a huge reason why I haven't joined a gym. Even though I think I could really benefit from being a member for all the positive reasons to join a gym. If I were to get shamed or made fun of or something when I'm trying to work on my body, I'd probably spiral. Just not worth the risk.